Now we are going to look at an interesting end-to-end -end scenario uh, through an example of IPTV where the resource and admission control function carries out the admission control by taking the help and implementation of uh, its own functional elements. Uh, we'd, we'd start with the requirements of IPTV and then we'd look at the operation in detail. Um, the IPTV admission control is different from voice over IP because uh, voice over IP is symmetric and it is uh, between uh, two live audience. In IPTV, it could be streaming content that is live streaming or it could be stored content uh, and it is uh, usually simplex. Uh, so we, we, we understand that NGN has different service requirements. Each has its own different admission control. Uh, so if IPTV service has to be uh, demonstrated through an example, so let's look at a situation where we have an inviter and we have an invitee, that is two friends, uh, a friend who wants his other friend to watch a content and the um, friend is not going to pay, rather the invitee is going, the inviter is going to pay. So we would look at the scenario where a friend A invites friend B. Friend A is the inviter, friend B is the invitee, and friend A is going to pay for the service. So we say that user invites one of his friends to watch a TV program and is willing to pay for it. If we look at the end-to-end -end scenario first, diagrammatically, and then we are going to go into the details, we are looking at the process that starts from the application layer. So the application layer gives its own QoS requirements to the service control function. The service control function initiates the service or invokes the service by taking the invitee into confidence by sending it a request to re allocate its resources. So the resource initiation request is sent to the PDFE of the invitee and then the policy decision is made and then the resource initiation request is made to the, the transport resource control which responds to this initi initiation request because uh, if the underlying technology is not supporting then this end-to-end -end scenario cannot be realized. Then the admission decision is made that is the it is finally decided that uh, the admission shall be made. So after that the policy decision functional entity has to enforce the policy. So now it sends a resource initiation request to reserve the resources and then it gets a response from the policy enforcement functional entity. Once it has finally gotten the response then the resource initiation response is sent to the SCF. Now this is the overall or the end-to-end -end scenario. We are going to look at the further details which are involved at every step. So after the invitee accepts the invitation from the inviter, the service control function sends a request to the invitee's uh, uh, RACF. Now all these PD, PE and uh, this uh, uh, T, uh, the transport resource function, functional entity TRFFE are part of the RACF. So whatever ha is happening is happening within the RACF. Since the bill is going to be charged to the inviting party, that is the inviter or friend A, so the RACF does not need to check the subscriber information of the invitee because even if the invitee does not have zero credit, uh, 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 does not have any credit or it has zero credit, so there's no requirement as such to charge it. Now the RACF, through its own PDFE, makes a policy decision by referring to the policy rules if this provision is allowed for a friend to invite another friend uh, and upon authorization it allocates the bandwidth and the QS class. So it means it identifies what bandwidth is required and to which QS class does this IPTV stream belong to. Then the invitees uh, 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 network PDFE uh, is 
is approached uh, by the RSCF of the inviters network to check the resource availability with the uh, uh, transport resource control functional entity of the invitees network. Uh, so once uh, the resources are found to be ample, then uh, a final decision is made. There are two possibilities, if there are enough resources or if there aren't enough resources. If there aren't enough resources, the media flow shall not be entertained and this uh, IPTV uh, service shall not be offered or it, will, it won't realize for the invitee. So in that case, the PDFE sends uh, uh, initiation response with a rejection and also provides a rejection reason in terms of which resources are uh, short and, and uh, uh, then this whole process is going to terminate. But if uh, there are enough resources, then the PDFE sends resource initiation request to the policy enforcement functional entity to install the admission decision. Installing actually means uh, taking the QoS policy, taking the bandwidth requirement and the QoS, uh, the uh, device or underlying access technology shall now be uh, configured to carry out this media flow transmission. Now the policy enforcement functional entity uh, in, uh, takes the final admission decision from PDFE and sends the resource initiation response uh, to the PDFE that, well, whatever policy decision you made, I have implemented it. Now the PDFE sends a response back to the initiator uh, service control function that finally uh, referring to the uh, QS policy which I have, I have admitted the resource uh, uh, for the media flow that you had requested. So in this whole process, uh, there is another entity uh, which is going to carry out the charging process. That is the, if you recall, the policy and charging uh, resource function. Uh, so the application function, uh, which is at the top in the uh, service stratum, requests the service information from the uh, PCRF. The, uh, the po policy and charging resource function acquires the user profile um, from its database. In this case, it is going to be the inviter or friend A. Uh, this can be the home subscriber station or the uh, HLR, home location register, uh, to make the policy decision. If the decision is positive, then uh, the PCRF is going to send policy, specific policy which is applicable to friend A's account and uh, what rules are going to be uh, implemented to the RSCF. And then RSCF is going to translate it into whatever actions it has to tell to the policy decision functional entity. And then uh, policy decision functional entity talks to the policy enforcement functional entity for enforcement. So this is the final uh, closure to the media flow that is now invoked and the invitee or friend B is now enjoying the IPTV stream, a television program, and friend A is paying for that.